Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. The big day is finally here, and the sun has finally come out, so it's a good day. My name is Sanjay Sood, and it's my great privilege to serve as the faculty chairman and de deputy dean of academic affairs at UCLA Anderson. I'm stepping in today for Dean Tony Bernardo, who unfortunately tested positive for COVID-19 yesterday. So I've had a whole lot of time to prepare for today, so bear with me. <laughs> Dean Bernardo wishes he could be here, and he wanted to send his personal congratulations to all of you. He's feeling fine and will continue to work remotely and follow the public health guidelines. He's vaccinated and boosted, but as we all know, this happens. So on his behalf and on behalf of all of us at Anderson, a big warm welcome to our 2023 commencement ceremony. And greetings to our most special guest, the class of 2023. A special warm welcome to your family, friends, honored guests, both of us who are joining us here on Wilson Plaza at UCLA and those, of, uh, and those of them who are joining remotely. We are so proud to celebrate this day with all of you. Now please rise for the singing of our national anthem by Smitha Paripanda, one of our talented candidates in our full-time MBA program. Smitha? So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the Wow, thank you, Smitha. That was absolutely beautiful. And now we want to acknowledge that UCLA Anderson sits on the traditional, ancestral, and ceded territory of the Gabrielino Tongva peoples. We are members of a land-grant institution, and we pay our respects to the ancestors, elders, and relatives of those on whose land our university sits. And just a reminder, as we go forward with our celebration today, we are sharing it on our social media platforms, and you are welcome to do the same our commencement hashtag is hashtag UCLA2023. Today we graduate our 83rd class from UCLA Anderson. Our school was founded in 1935 as UCLA's first professional school, offering undergraduate degrees in business. At that time, our students were all male, studied accounting and economics, alongside courses in typing, shorthand, and auctioneering. That was not a typo, that's what it really says. <laughs> suffice, to, suffice, to, suffice it to say, a lot has changed. Since then, more than 42,000 Anderson graduates have marked the milestone that we celebrate today. And thankfully, they now include not only women, but growing diversity in ethnicity, backgrounds, and experience. 
Our alumni now span the globe, and many are leading, in, are, are many, are leading industries unimaginable eight decades ago. But year after year, through enormous change, as we've recently seen, the emotions of this day have very much remained the same. Excitement, pride, satisfaction, and maybe just a little bit of relief. Earning a degree from UCLA Anderson takes discipline, hard work, and a fair amount of sacrifice. It also takes the support and dedication of those around you. That means your friends and family, your spouses and partners, your children, your parents, your favorite faculty members, your career advisors, your mentors. Each of them has played a role in your success and helping you reach this very important day. So before we go any further, let's just take a minute to recognize and celebrate all of them today too. And now back to our special guests, the graduates. You've dedicated years to get to this day. You survived the core. You abandoned your comfort zones. You explored new areas and new ideas. You've challenged yourselves and each other. You've learned together, grown together, and formed bonds that will last a lifetime. We hope that each of you feels truly enriched by your Anderson experience and fully confident and the future that you have invested so much to enable. Life will demand much of you professionally and personally. It always does. Change and the challenges that go with it are inevitable. But so are the possibilities, and the possibilities are what we are focused on today. Throughout your time here, you have developed both the skills and the character to take on the unexpected. You are, after all, the class that preserved through the pandemic and came back again. You've proven your ability to see past the immediate and seize the opportunity ahead of you. Your determination and your adaptability will serve you well in the years of exponential change ahead, as, you will, as will your appreciation of community, which you've demonstrated in so many ways during your time here at Anderson. More than ever, the world needs transformative leaders who are innovative, inspiring, and impactful. We face tremendous issues domestically as well as globally, political issues, economic, environmental, and social. And as technology and AI further accelerates, you will need to help address the ethical and societal implications that we are only now beginning to consider. These challenges require increased cooperation and collaboration across borders, across public and private sectors, across industries and across functions. They require both innovation and invention. As business leaders, you will be called upon to be strategic and creative problem solvers, accountable not only to your organizations, but also to society. I realize that may sound daunting and maybe even a little grandiose, but take a minute to look at the 945 graduates that we are celebrating today. I guarantee that among you are outstanding future entrepreneurs, inventors, economists, academics, CEOs, CFOs, board chairs, maybe even a business school dean, maybe even a mayor. I trust that most of you will accomplish great, great things in your careers. Some of you will make serious names for yourselves and millions, if not billions, of dollars. And I also guarantee you that if you're making that kind of money, you will hear from UCLA Anderson. <laughs> but more importantly, most importantly actually, all of you, each and every one of you, can choose to build a career and a life that are purposeful. You can commit yourself to act ethically and lead, lead empathetically, with passion and persistence, to not only make a good living, but to make a positive impact on the organizations and importantly, the communities that you serve. Coach John Wooden was a great motivational speaker because he got right to the simple heart of things. He just had that skill, and he practiced every word that he preached. I want to leave you today with just three of his maxims that, in the end, I believe matter as much as everything else you've learned here at Anderson. As graduates, you have gained the knowledge and the skills you need to be successful. Now, as Coach Wooden so often shared, remember to be true to yourself, 
help others, and make each day your masterpiece. Congratulations, class of 2023. So it's my pleasure to welcome our keynote speaker, Karen Bass, Mayor of Los Angeles. She is a native Angelino who has worked both in public and private se sectors to help transform our city. Inspired by the civil rights movement as a child, she decided at a very young age to fight for social and economic justice. She volunteered for political campaigns when she was in middle school, but began her career in healthcare rather than politics. Working as a nurse and an emergency medicine physician's assistant, she gained frontline experience with community issues, including the crack epidemic that ravaged South Central Los Angeles in the 1980s. That experience prompted her and other local community organizers to establish the Community Coalition to drive public policy that would help address the social and economic conditions underlying addiction, crime, violence, and poverty. She then went on to represent Los Angeles in the State Assembly and was elected by her peers to serve as speaker, making her the very first African American woman in the nation's history to lead a state's legislative body. As speak, please. As speaker, she was awarded the John F. Kennedy Profile and Courage Award for reaching across party lines to save California from bankruptcy in the Great Recession. Next, she went on to serve California for 12 years in the U.S. House of Representatives, where she helped protect small businesses during the pandemic created policy to drive local jobs from federal infrastructure funding, and led the passage of what the LA Times called the most significant child welfare policy reform in decades. She is now the first woman and only the second African American to be elected as Los Angeles' chief executive. Please join me in welcoming a very transformative leader, Mayor of Los Angeles, Karen Bass. Good afternoon, graduates, the class of 2023. It is very inspirational to be here and see so many of you and to know the change that you will make in our world. I'm honored to celebrate your achievement with the faculty and staff of the UCLA Anderson School of Management, the folks from the front of the classroom and from behind the scenes who helped you get here. And of course, I'm cheering for you alongside your greatest supporters, your families and friends. They're the ones who lifted you up and believed in you every step of the way. So I think you should give them a second round of applause for all of their help and support of you. Now graduates, this is your day, a moment to honor what you have accomplished a milestone we are marking together before you embark on the next leg of what I know will be an incredible journey. No matter where you started out, and I understand you come from every continent except Antarctica, you are all Angelinos now. <laughs> Even if you decide your talents are best suited outside of LA and settle elsewhere, I'm sure the time you spent here has inspired your thinking and approach to the choices you make. And I know our city is better for the connections you have made here. That's how deeply UCLA is woven into the fabric of this city. It has to do with all the ways this university and the faculty and the students of this school in particular deepen our understanding of the world around us. A great example is the UCLA Anderson Forecast, a leader and globally recognized economic forecasting organization that has provided invaluable insight into the global, national, state, and local economies for 70 years and has been a valuable tool to policymakers. Then there are the alumni, and Anderson grads are innovators who drive our city, our nation, our world's economy and culture. 
I can tell you I've tapped into this brilliance myself. Nearly two dozen UCLA alumni served on my mayoral transition team, including four Anderson grads. Many more work in my office, leading the Office of Immigrant Affairs, serving as the Director of Neighborhood Services. My deputy mayor for communications told me that he even worked at the Anderson Building as a security guard when he was an undergrad at UCLA. I mention this to acknowledge just one of the many gifts that you are leaving here with, a huge network of incredible friends, thought partners, and fellow alumni, people as determined as you are to do big and to do great. And what about the world you're stepping into? Well, I cannot describe the economic landscape with certainty. There's just no denying all the shifting tides, all the major forces and flux, and what we don't know about the future of our domestic and global markets, and whether our institutions are strong enough to stand against growing authoritarianism, even right here at home and around the world. This uncertainty can put tension on established international trade relationships and have the power to impact our global market supply chains, affecting import-export dynamics, and dampening investor confidence, leading to capital flight and economic instability. And then there are so many questions in the air about inflation, the debt markets, the role AI will play, the impact of the ongoing war in Ukraine, with concerns about the reliability of energy supplies, particularly in natural gas. And we experienced these market disruptions last summer with skyrocketing gas prices and how a changing climate will affect our lives and our planet. And if you ask 10 people whether there will be a recession, you should be prepared to get at least 10 different answers and complicated answers. Even the future of how we work on the most basic level is up in the air. The pandemic fundamentally changed how and where we work and possibly fundamentally changed higher education, especially given online. So what does this mean to you to be graduating today into a world of such uncertainty, a world with more questions than answers? All the uncertainty I hope that you see as opportunities that invite your knowledge, your imagination, and your creativity to reshape the world. It means that you can lead the change. You may not have a clear route to follow today, you may encounter unexpected turns that you can't prepare for, but you have the tools to chart the way forward, to trailblaze, and you have the talent, and I know you have the drive. And I know you'll be on the cutting edge of whatever you do, both in terms of your output and your ethos. I am certain of this because you are Anderson grads. And you are the generation that will lead and support triple bottom line companies where social and environmental performance is as important as profits. And you will approach the future knowing that making global change often starts with local action. That while the challenges we face cross borders, so do the solutions. A powerful example is found in the movement to change climate change through renewable energy adaptation and sustainable transportation initiatives. That when we join together, work together, we multiply our impact. And the relationships you have built here at Anderson are the foundation for the change you will make. No matter where you go next, whether you end up across the globe or the country, or you set down roots here in LA, I expect to see you lead the charge to create a world that is more just and healthy. And if you choose to stay here, and I hope you do, well, I expect to see a lot more of you. I hope we'll be working together. But as Anderson grads, you will be shaping the future of this city. You will be driving innovation in the blue economies, technology, aerospace, transportation, and more. And what can you expect? Los Angeles is an economic powerhouse, the third largest metropolitan economy in the world, a county larger than 41 states. With $30 billion in investment, we are building a modernized world-class airport, the number one port in the Western Hemisphere for 23 consecutive years, over 200 recognized restaurants, more museums and performing art venues than any American city, and 
the most professional sport teams. And there's no better place to innovate than LA. We're home now to nearly 4,000 venture-packed startups, making this the third largest startup market in the US. That said, we face real challenges. We're not immune to all that uncertainty I talked about earlier, or to some of the trickiest ripple effects, whether that's difficulty assessing capital or low consumer confidence. We're also dealing, of course, with a profound housing crisis, but we're not sitting idly by. My team in the mayor's office is laser focused on making LA more business friendly and a place that's affordable for everyone, including innovators and entrepreneurs like you. To put it simply, LA is open for business. And what does that look like? It looks like a city government that's breaking down barriers to starting, growing, or expanding businesses here. A city committed to spurring entrepreneurship and job creation, a city deeply engaged in global trade and investment, a city that is working across so many channels to balance the scales. We're working to help business owners connect with opportunities, diversify their consumer base, and access the tools they need to be resilient and thrive. And small business in particular are key. After all, you all know, they're responsible for nearly 50% of jobs and 75% of new jobs in LA. When businesses open and grow, when businesses thrive, they hire people. And as I see it, the only way we're gonna build more affordable LA is by ensuring that jobs that the local businesses create. My administration is also working to reform decade of antiquated systems, processes, and policies. This is a city of the future, and we need to be doing everything possible to drive investment here and ensure that local businesses benefit from the billions of dollars spent annually in contracting opportunities. This is especially important now when we have major global events on the horizon, from the World Cup in 2026 to the Olympics and Paralympics in 2028, and national event with the US Open that's happening right down the street as we speak. We're at a crossroads together. This is a moment for us to lock arms and take on the profound global challenges we face from poverty to climate change. And you are the ones to lead us forward. Your education, experiences, and values will help lead us to solutions. And partnership from the private sector is absolutely essential. We need your ideas and innovation. We need your commitment. So if you haven't figured it out yet, this is my pitch to you. My pitch to you, everybody says that government's dysfunctional and that government needs to run like a business and here's 900 business graduates. And so you need to think about working for the government and knowing that Los Angeles City has thousands of vacancies. So I jumped at the opportunity to come speak to you today because I'm hoping that I will see you in City Hall. Congratulations to the graduates of 2023. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Bass, for those very inspiring words. And uh, I agree with you wholeheartedly that this is the group that's going to lead change, and hopefully they will also become tenants of downtown LA. <laughs> now I'd like to introduce Marvin Lieber Lieberman, the direct Dean and Director of the Doctoral Program. Marvin will be presenting the 2023 Doctoral Candidates. Marvin? Okay. Thank you, Sanjay, and thank you, Mayor Bass. The PhD program in management was established in 1953, 70 years ago. Since then, nearly a thousand doctoral students have graduated from the program. We are adding 16 more doctoral candidates in today's ceremony. The Doctor of Philosophy degree is the highest degree awarded by the university. The candidates receiving this degree deserve our greatest respect and admiration for what is truly a monumental accomplishment. To earn their PhD degrees, these candidates have not only learned the theory and tools required to do original research, but have demonstrated their mastery of these 
by contributing to the body of knowledge through their dissertation. Thus, they are trained to become leaders in academia and business, producing research and thought leadership for policymakers, business leaders, and their students. During the hooding ceremony, a distinguished faculty member places the doctoral hood over the head of the graduate, signifying their high achievement in completing the graduate program. The doctoral candidates who will now be hooded are, in alphabetical order, Irem Achakush. Dissertation title, Optimization-Based Machine Learning Methods for Business Analytics. Irem will be hooded by Professor Oyan Sadiq. Gloria Deng Chao Cheng. <laughs> Dissertation title, A License to Obliviousness, Positive Stereotypes Reduce Acknowledgement of Racial Discrimination. Gloria will be hooded by Dissertation Committee Chair, Professor Jennifer Whitson. Gabriel Cuevas Rodriguez. Dissertation title, Essays on Asset Pricing. Gabriel will be hooded by Dissertation Committee Chair, Professor Stavros Panagias. <laughs> Mahil Gulashin. Dissertation title, Essays in Economic Beliefs. Mikhail will be hooded by Professor Paula Giuliano. <laughs> Matias Giacobasso. Dissertation title, Essays in Public Economics. Matias will be hooded by Dissertation Committee Co-Chair, Professor Paula G Giuliano. Sherry Herr, dissertation title, Essays on Platform Policies, Ratings, and Innovation. Sherry will be hooded by Dissertation Committee Chair, Professor Brett Hollenbeck. <laughs> Paul Ubner, dissertation title, Two Essays on Demand-Based Asset Pricing. Paul will be hooded by Professor Stavros Panagias. <laughs> Edward Taehoon Kim. Dissertation title, Essays in Financial Economics. Edward would be hooded by Professor Stavros Panagias. <laughs> Ho Joon Kim. Dissertation title, Essays on Managerial Learning from Market Prices. Hojun will be hooded by Dissertation Committee Chair, Professor Judson Kasky. <laughs> Julia Levine. Dissertation title, State Dependence in Brand, Store, and Category Choice. Julia will be hooded by Professor Brett Hollenbeck. Daniel Mirny, dissertation title, Antecedents to and Consequences of Claim Objectivity. Daniel will be hooded by dissertation committee chair, Professor Steven Spiller. <laughs> Dennis Mokanov, dissertation title, Deviations from Rational Expectations and Asset Prices. Dennis will be hooded by Professor Stavros Panagias. Oh. <laughs> 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 J. 
Joseph Summer Reef. Dissertation title, Implicit Communication Through Behavioral Policy Design. Joseph will be hooded by Dissertation Committee Chair, Professor Hal Hirschfield. Zachary Sowers, dissertation title, Essays in Urban and Public Economics. Zachary will be hooded by Dissertation Committee Chair, Professor Paula Giuliano. <laughs> Jingwei Zhang, Dis dissertation title, Toward Sustainable Cities, Modeling and Data Analytics for Urban Mobility. Jingwei will be hooded by Dissertation Committee Co-Chair, Professor Oyan Siddiq. Please give our congratulations to all of our outstanding candidates. Thank you, Marvin, and congratulations to all of our new PhDs. It's really quite an achievement to be able to go through it, especially during the pandemic, as many of them have. Now for the presentation of our fully employed MBA candidates. That's great. I, th <laughs> I think they're over there. <laughs> uh, let me clarify before we start that each year we alternate which class goes first. This year's lineup order will be the FEMBA students first, followed by... <laughs> FEMBA students first, followed by our executive MBAs. <laughs> and then our full-time MBAs. Okay. <laughs> it's going to be a good day. <laughs> Okay, before we get there, it's a, it's a tradition at UCLA Anderson uh, to select a student from each of our MBA programs to speak for their respective class members. Uh, this year, it's Kevin Chung from the FEMBA class of 2023. So Kevin was chosen on behalf of his classmates, so please, Kevin, welcome. Are those light breezes feels nice. I think there's the winds of change. Love you too. Fembo Femba graduates of the class of 2023, esteemed family, faculty, and guests. We see before us a student bodily finally united in the flesh with Bruin pride and honor. Something that back in 2020 which as a reminder, our program is three years long, so three years ago, was unthinkable as the COVID pandemic took away our ability to network beyond the confines of a computer screen. Orientation for us was limited to drinking glasses of wine or juice in front of the Zoom while joking about the embarrassing moments our classmates might have brought up from an unmuted mic or a video camera revealing a little something too much in the background. Then the class of 2023. Let's finally cherish this moment of strength in numbers. Take a look at your fellow students to your left and right. If you like them, if you hate them, you still have to do it. <laughs> underneath, we're all wearing that same cap and gown, but underneath that visible layer, we have each dealt with our own unique unique pandemic-related struggles, all of which have added to our acrobatic act of dancing through work, study, and family needs over several years. 
And the list goes on and on of these challenges specific to our times that made the road to graduation so rough. The loss of loved ones due to the global pandemic, or the introduction of new ones to an unfamiliar world. I believe we call those babies. Social isolation, or even discrimination, accelerated by a rapid transition to digital-only discourse. Struggles in the workplace, or hiring timelines changing due to uncertain economic times. So many of our colleagues and peers couldn't understand how we could make all this work in addition to all the things that were happening in our personal lives. Saying things like, I can't even imagine doing a program like that, especially now. And it probably had you all thinking, at times, how could I be possibly doing this too? Well, as Professor Terry Kramer always reminds his fellow tech management students, we all need to be in search of the so what beyond the facts and figures. In other words, even though we're all receiving the diplomas, we're all here today, things we've earned after several years, what did this really mean for us in the end? Well, I believe the so what is this. In front of us is living, breathing proof that despite a global pandemic, three years of classwork in front of every single collaboration tool and platform imaginable, and most recently, this inflationary roller coaster, FEMBAs can overcome challenges, distractions, and pessimism in a way that shows the naysayers, we get the job done. Now, some of those challenges, though, I admit, were those we self-imposed on ourselves. What do I mean by this? The feeling of FOMO when we missed out on one of Kevin Chi's parties and adventures. Oh, my goodness. The tensions that grew when Michael Tong or Janet Huang wore their USC shirts to the Bruins sporting games. Or the guilt as to whether we made a mistake by not investing money into Ryan Alimo's growing venture. At times, it really did feel like we were helpless trying to adapt to an environment we couldn't really control, which led to us venting out our frustrations in ways that made for uneasy moments at town halls and other times we met with our admin partners. But we've done all this in retrospect because we're passionate about wanting to leave things better for the next class and make the quality of this here institution ever better than when we started. FEMBA class of 2023, our time has come. Recognize that despite this being one of the greatest challenges of our lives, the opportunities will never stop coming to us as long as we keep our energy and enthusiasm alive. We've already done this before. In the words of John Wooden, winning takes talent. To repeat takes character. Congratulations again to all of you and thanks to all the faculty, staff, and loved ones that have given us the opportunity to be here today. Thank you very much. Okay, so um, before we get started, um, I'd like to take a moment to mention that because of other pressing commitments, Mayor uh, Bass had to depart UCLA early. Uh, so joining me on the stage will be Associate Dean for the FEMBA program, Gonzalo Frisius, and Associate Dean for Marketing and Communications, Pat Godfroy. They will read the student names as they take up to the stage. I'll also be joined by FEMBA Teaching Excellence Award winner, Professor Terry Kramer, and greeting our newest FEMBA, FEMBA alumni, assisted also by Alumni Programming Director Andrea Wade and Alumni Network President Zubin Daver. We now call to the stage our FEMBA, our FEMBA candidates. Mark Jones. Andy Peng. Yuna Zhao. 
Jared Lopez. Jothi Seishun. Matt Sumida. Luis Alcazar. Javier Mariscal. Fen New. David Palin Jr. Carol Ann Link. Shad Boots. Ruben Matthews. Stuart Bremner. Avneet Brar. Suba Venkatesan. Amir Rizvi. Calvin Cam. Pablo Sahion. Joseph Shortino. Sean Chang. Penny D. Bao. Will Tran. Karen Chabra. Za Tin. Sona Shahinian. Christian George. Suhail Goyal. Santosh Subramanian. Kevin Chong. Christopher D. Giovanni. Che Tanya Rati. Jeffrey Tran. Srinraj Rao. Dali Doggy Party. Pravina Prativati. Alexander King. Sneha Induja. Megan Bear. Pratyaja Nat. Scott Pincus. Jorge Subiatek. Irina Lowry. Parker Olbry. Erica Cohen. Ashlyn Gers. Hawkins Golden. Paul Mark Schweitzer. Emily Cotterell. Victoria Brodsky. <laughs> Lindsay Wilt. Angelica Chikara. Kelsey Smith. Adina Murabi. Josh Belmont. Kathleen Walsh. Daniel Malarkey. Ali Rhoda. Grant Weissman. Remy Dang. Maurice Scarborough. Michael Ryan. Alex Olafson.
Wilson. Kasine Wong. Alicia Sabato. Dania Alfonso. Sammy Ahmad. Hannah Kane. Ming Chi. Shub Vashisht. Lucy Wong. Harry Kong. Elizabeth Kahn. Edith Chen Dong. Emily McSherry. Franco Melon. Shay Walton. Justin Cheng. Jack Welsh. Alex Ho. Jonathan Andrich. Andrew LaFollette. Kevin Cohen. Daniel Sucher. Andres Alisson. Natango Vantun Harnstein. Kyle Brower. Navpreet Singh Plaha. Ara Vindakshan Mohan. Michael Howard. Nick Sharma. Uzair Aladrus. <laughs> Michael Vargas. Gregory Steinbrecher. <laughs> Nasir Khan. <laughs> Michael Tretton. <laughs> Matthew Lynch. Andrew Cutro. Thomas Pontius. Patrick McFarlane. Yichon Kim. Trent Hammond. Nya Fawn. Jason May. Christine Gong. Woo! Danny Salka. Danny. Jonathan Buckley. Woo! Jeremy Sheerts. Elizabeth Sloan Watts. Woo! Lucas Hakim de Resende. Carrie Feinberg. Beth Smetana. Dylan Bishop. Amelia Smith. Zachary London. Priscilla Dangbo. Mirwise Mazrur. Paul Reynolds. David Kessler. Jonathan Mose. Sophia Santias. Camlin Morrison. Tiffany Wang. Heather Scott. James Kim. Catherine Hagman. 
Eric Top. Ryan Cotomy. Jason Garfinkel. Kelvin Sun. Matthew Downey. Brandon Geiger. Myron Soyanko. Chai Lamb. Marcella Tompkins. Kristen Hannigan. Emily Sai. David Gaskins. Niraj Pramod. Karnia Satkunen Daraja. <laughs> Debbie Marone. Caitlin Clark. Pinkish Gianani. Molly Aronson. Margarita Labrec. Kriti Shetty. Nathan Golston. Amund Derry. Nidhi Prasad. Leon Mas. Nicholas Violin. It's almost like, you know, you don't do this. <laughs> Haley Ehrlich. Suti Kumbar. Justin Morad. Kanika Kapoor. Christopher. Chander. Anna East Garabegian. David Hong. Andrew Machado. Andrew Jun. Somesh Ganesh. K. Afgahi. William Tran. Varun Rao. Atali Dajani. Evan Doria. Jessica Thomas. Kanal Dugley. Jacob Sachs. Alan Chen. Marlissa Idis. Barry Michael Lawrence. Katrina Keys. Michael Tong. Megan Arena. Muhammad Mo Kuzro. Robert Sorkin. <laughs> Ali Mirza. Ryan Haley. Brianna Barksdale. Matthew Klompas. Franny Novak. Bob Fang. 
Lisa Luna. Pretty Esther Kim. Daniel Johnson. Elizabeth Cho. Patrick Chen. Chen Yi Zhu. Kritika Mishra. Anne Marie Helia. Erica Trin. Allison Olmstead. Noma Acabilo. Crystal Huang. Alexa Taylor. Eric Chang. Karen Chi. Dylan Dornfeld Sharp. Pauline Yang. Melissa Reinhardt. Todd Intec Kim. Austin Swift. Artin Ara Davidian. Michael Andralis. Alex Sandoval. Yang Zhang. Makai Cartman. Krish Nankeshwar. Ali Raza Armavan. Jonathan Bowie. Courtney Wright. Janet Wong. Dennis Dunnigan. Robert Chai. Zhao Zhang. Yong Kim. Gregory Brancazio. Chris Yinchi Shu. Melissa Noriega. Henry Haichen Ma. Naha Shakib. Lauren Eline. Amy Chen. <laughs> Wing, Lu Wing Lee. Hey, let's go, Wing! Luana Helsinger. <laughs> Freddie Chen. <laughs> Liliana Peraza. Jordan Beard. Andrew Camo. Forrest Allen. <laughs> Jessica Stolierskaya. Yulia Mochinya. Sam Rosenthal.
Kendall Schreiberg. Sarah Elab. Amanda Jimenez. Amanda! Obed Guzman. Sarah Barton. King Chong. Nishal Patel. Jason Greider. Caitlin McMahon. Avery Wang. Alyssa Huang. Chris Chen. Mike Magana. Eric Chong. Thomas Gannon. Keisha. Sharma. Mark Lutzker. <laughs> Jason Nakagawa. <laughs> Jessica Fisher. Graham Way. <laughs> Tony Ma. <laughs> Casey Martin. Andrew Grossbart. Andres Padilla. Luigi Ramella. Zach Lickstein. Colin Summer. Eric Mulchandani. Sean Lee. Bijan Vakilifati. Henry Gallegos. Martin Farfan. Leonora Brandt. Jan Jeng. Rachel Fisher. Chi Xiang Yu. Henry Cohen. <laughs> David Winograd. Ali McMulchi. <laughs> Alexandra Shandiz. Aditya Umashankor. Erica Elsasser. Will Blair. Jenny Seaver. John Morrow. Eric Shea. Nathaniel Griffith. Yue Hu. Blagoy Kalabarov. Bo Fu Junk. Whitney Blaine. Brian Livergren. John Jalal. Morgan Beck. Sanjana Sinha. Adam Windish. Maria Fabregas. Iglesias. Jason Guo. Bonnie Duffley.
Bailey. Tuan Tran. Sarah Lee. Han Chang. Daniel Beck. David Park. Henry Song. Jason Kim. Michael G. Thank you, and congratulations, FEMBA Class of 2023. All right. Love the excitement. Now it's... <laughs> Now it's time for the executive MBAs to take their turn. <laughs> so the, the student who selected to speak on behalf of her MBA class, or MBA, EMBA classmates is Corey Levine Lopez. Corey. Good afternoon. Thank you to my fellow graduates for trusting me to speak on our behalf. I want to express our collective gratitude to our families, friends, and mentors, and to the faculty, administrators, and staff. Without you, we wouldn't be here today celebrating this milestone. To the Executive MBA class of 2023, we made it. <laughs> I am beyond proud to be graduating alongside such an accomplished group of individuals. For those that don't know us, we're not just executives. We are bankers, lawyers, investors, accountants, engineers, physicians, marketers, creatives, and producers. And several have dedicated their lives in service to their countries, and for that, we say thank you. Though we came from different backgrounds, we shared a common dream, to get an MBA. We consciously chose to pursue this education later in our careers after a decade or more of work experience. That decision carried a certain gravitas, and it came with many sacrifices, such as sleep and a social life. But the benefit was that our cohort brought a lifetime of experience and expertise to the classroom, which made our time here together all the richer and more rewarding. Now let me take you on a quick journey back in time. I spent part of my childhood right here in Los Angeles, attending elementary school on this very campus at the lab school. And it was during those early years that I found my first love, basketball. I started playing as the only girl on an all boys team with the son of famed Jerry West, whose silhouette is literally the NBA logo. And without fail, Jerry West would show up at our games and scream from the stands, Pass to Corey. And so his son did, time and time again. And just like that, I became part of a team for the first time in my life, and I was hooked. My parents took me to UCLA basketball games at Poly Pavilion, where Coach John Wooden's legacy is etched into the walls. I watched in awe, not just at the skill, athleticism, and showmanship, but at the teamwork on display, the harmony of people working in perfect rhythm with one another. While my basketball career wouldn't last, and no surprise there, I'm a staggering five foot four, the lessons I learned from being on teams stuck with me. When we started at Anderson, we quickly learned that teamwork is the foundation of the MBA curriculum. It's woven throughout every class, 
group projects, group presentations, group papers, not to mention the group rope course that united us and nearly killed us during the first week. With time, though, we saw it wasn't so much about the work we did together as it was about working together. We developed strong bonds. We leaned on each other's strengths and we supported each other's weaknesses. Who's ever going to forget our workplace big five? We celebrated our wins and we learned from our losses, though we never quite learned where the D building is. We marked birthdays, births, marriages, and more. And we worked tirelessly on our biggest project of the program, keeping the Luskin Bar open past 10 p.m. I thought that would get a cheer. But more importantly, we rallied in the tough times, lifting each other up when we needed it the most. Together, we've learned that when teams find synergy, the whole can go beyond the sum of its parts. And research shows that diverse teams breed even better results. Fittingly, we are the largest and most diverse cohort in the history of Anderson. We have one of the highest percentages of women yet, and 25% of us identify as part of an underrepresented community. We were born across 30 countries, speak 25 languages, and represent over 30 professional industries. We have learned that our differences make us even stronger. Now it's incumbent upon us to spread these lessons as leaders in the business world. We are all leaving Anderson with more of a voice than we had before. And my hope is that now we give a voice to others. Let's go out and build teams with a wide variety of disciplinary, ideological, and demographic backgrounds. And then let's pass the ball to those teammates who are too often overlooked, underestimated, or devalued because it's not only the right thing to do, it's simply better for business. As we gather here today, our MBA is no longer just a dream. We made it a reality, together as a team. So now as we prepare to receive our diplomas, Embas, let me leave you with a final challenge. Schedule a reminder for yourself from a year for, from a, for a year from today, on June 16th, 2024. On that day, I challenge you to call the classmates sitting next to you, just to check in. Because even though the clock has run out on our season at Anderson, we will always be on the same team. Congratulations, EMBA class of 2023. I'll see you at Luskin for last call. Thank you. Thank you so much, Corey. We now call our executive MBA candidates to come to the stage. So again, we'll be joined by uh, Gonzalo and Pat, and Andrea and Zubin. And in addition, um, we'll also be joined by the Associate Dean for Equity, Diversity, and Inclusion, Professor Heather Caruso. Suchi Mishra. Joy Albritton. Kalib Kalib. Corey Levine Lopez. Henry Kwan. Rachel Sollenberger. Zach Marshall. Ashley White. Stephen Hume. Victoria Flynn. Aditi Gupta. Seher Zaman. Isabel Caberta. 
Katrin Barnabas. Margaret Pardew. Melissa Chan Patel. Alisa Benson. Atlantis Reyes Velasquez. Gideon Spitzer Williams. Brenda Lorenzana Rodriguez. Andrew Marino. Didi Lika. Benjamin Cherney. Nathaniel Sanga Bensivenga. Matthew Labonge. Nicole Little Smith. Clay Huffman. Tuan Pham. Emmanuel Borky. George Lang. Jorge Narus. Drew Chang. Danny Morales de la Cruz. Meg Simo Jean Chan. Christian Hernandez. Indu Durai. Andy Tai. Charles Judd. Mary Kersherman. Brian Evangelista. Jackie Yu Kim. Anna Truong. Janelle Arias. Jenna Cavell. Eleanor Lackman. Anita Shilhorn Van Veen. Heidi Crane. New Mexico State Representative, yeah. Linda Serrato. Matthew Magnat. Yeah. Colleen Lampkin Cozart. Chris Lee. Gustavo Alvarado Castillo. Tatiana Mulry. Kaylee Cattleman Stanton Crispin. To Mary Atter. Brian Conker. Luis Manuel Chacon Escandel. Natalia Castañeda. Nuwan Premachandra. Amit Agarwal. Dorothy Becerra. Ken Wang. Nicolette Marta. Camille Garcia. <laughs> Lindsay Uta Suya. Cindy Perez Lorenzo. Sirith Anderson. Christina Oy. Matthew Hasby. Adriana Davila. 
Aaron Galetta. Nick Greif. Andrew Krensky. Nicole Jambatuan. Peter Abi. Lita Mahabadi. Kartikeyan Balasubramanian. Magesh Srinivasan. Stephen Balvans. Julia Brandt Di Cavallo. Oliver Garfield. Giancarlo Nassi. Yeah, just take your time okay. and make it like... Giancarlo Nazi. Brian Lee. Rodney More. Casey Link. Jonathan Elliott. Peter Anderson. Sonia Joshi Lee. Dory Lobel. Jack Lee. Tyler Rasmussen. Art Hosebian. Tommy Brown. Misha Shorter. Eva Wong. Bridget Marino. Allison Giordano. Kathleen Oakham. Chris Angelo Alon. Laura Schwartz. Woo! Young Choi. Christina Adams. Woo! Akash Agrawal. Holly Jane Sai. Andre Kudievsky. Aaron Bennett. Aaron Pena. Timothy Ryan Gardner. <laughs> Mike Sims. Madeline Blake. Jeremy Gorillic. Alicia Clover. David White. Austin Clover. Matthew Kingdon Taylor. Daniel Murphy. Tassos Bullis. Jeffrey Yao. Ryan Carolyn. Michael Hetrick. Candace Monhe. Ali Mogadam. Josh Noble. JJ Baltasar Vasquez. Kelly Wheeler. Jason Smalley. Sebastian Brown. Will Sanford. President Deidre Willis.
Kago Tomlinson. Tyler Tabbitt. Ashley McLaren. Cameron Harris. Allison Bradbury McDonald. Annie Chow Gorman. Layla Hall. Ariel Johnson Lynn. Nate Castro. Mike Stone. Marty Schneider. Eric Taubman. Aaron Edwards. Khalil Keys. Eric Bildman. Dan Roberts. Garrett Heimberger. Destian Vallejo. Ashwin Chandrasekhar. David Spiller. Elizabeth K. Aloha. Eric Eddy. Oliver Anderson. Elizabeth Hakobjanian. Elizabeth! Shiz oh, there it goes the Shazad Siddiqui. Sabik Inyayat. John Holman. Robert Patrick. Katrine Zeroff. Nels Fogerson. Deval Deyotker. <laughs> Lee Frazier. David Hurd. Joseph Schmidt. Robert Hatcher III. Bradley Clark. Vikashini Chandra Shekhar. Michael Mathis. Falak. Council. Sienna Jackson. Ranjani Krishna. Malia Mason. Vahid Parichere. Eric Hayes. Arthur Guatizo. Joe Alonzo Rodriguez. Omar Kareem Channer. Nancy Mendoza Pineda. Vasu Misala. Fabiola Rango Ornelas. Sunil Tiwari. Omar Carrasco. Have a seat. Stephen Perlstein. Yeah. 
Jennifer Chu. Congratulations to the EMBA class of 2023. Okay, last but not least, it's time for the full-time MBAs. <laughs> Selected to speak on behalf of her MBA classmates is Gabrielle Cornelio. Gabby. <laughs> last speech. Good afternoon to the beautiful students of the class of 2023, distinguished, distinguished guests, professors, and staff. On behalf of my fellow graduates, I'd first like to give a special thank you to all of our family and friends, both here and far, who have supported us on our journey to get to this point. Aside from being a proud member of the full-time MBA class, I was also a member of the Anderson Student Association Cabinet, otherwise known as the Student Council. I served as the Vice President of Technology, or popularly known as the Slack Sheriff. Slack is a student's main communication platform. It allows for direct messaging and group chats, which helped all of us learn about upcoming events, discuss assignments with our learning teams, or look up photos of people in our class we hadn't heard of. Come on, you know you've done it too. While in this role, I had to constantly be on Slack, mostly to make sure no one said anything egregious. But I saw what people wanted to share or wanted to complain about, and ultimately I saw how ways of communication and the words we choose portray what we want to say. I learned that some things mean the same no matter what language you speak in, like some of our favorite Slack emojis, the red heart, a thumbs up, the cat furiously typing, or the party parrot, the party parrot holding the beer, the party parrot in a conga line, or the hyperactive party parrot. And how could I forget the single letter Q? Just like emojis give us one way to communicate, something popped up during our time here that already changed and will continue to change how all of us communicate in the future, chat GPT. But could AI truly replace the persuasive messaging of Anderson grads? To test this, I asked chat GPT to generate a message to get 10 more survey participants for my capstone project. It spit out five long paragraphs filled with fluffy phrases all portraying the same idea, how just one survey response would be crucial in contributing to major advancements in the field of research. What AI didn't know was that the most effective message for Anderson students really would have been, here is a two minute survey that doesn't require any deep thinking. Not only are you guaranteed a $50 Amazon gift card, if it takes you longer than two minutes, I will personally wait in line for you at Ander Cafe during the 11 a.m. rush hour. See, the words you choose really matter. During our time here, we've written numerous cold emails, cover letters, resumes, and thank you notes, countless case memos and slide decks. We've had to choose words wisely to get our message across. But one thing that can really communicate what we truly mean are actually the punctuation marks that end or continue our sentences. For example, ending an email with thanks exclamation mark gives off a much different energy than thanks comma. So when you think back on your time here at Anderson, what punctuation mark will you use to end that sentence? Is it a period giving a strong statement that signifies your immense accomplishment and moving on to the next adventure? Or maybe it's an exclamation point because you're full of emotions, 
Maybe you're excited or yelling, scared, happy, or a combination of all of these. Or perhaps a comma, because your journey here isn't done yet, and you're not yet satisfied with closing this chapter as it stands. Or maybe you're using a question mark because you're not sure yet what lies after this and that openness and undefinition is thrilling. Whatever your final punctuation is, the story that you created before that comma or period or exclamation point is special. It's a story that we should continue to share long after we change out of these heavy gowns. It's a story that connects all of us, people from different professional backgrounds, different hometowns, countries, and cultures. We're now all characters in each other's stories and lives, and I hope that we continue to be no matter what the next sentence might include. All I ask is that you take ownership of that story, of who you are and what you've gained from your experience here. And now that we're at the end, confidently choose the punctuation mark that you want to finish this chapter with. Congratulations to the class of 2023. We did it! Exclamation point! Thank you so much, Gabby. So as the full-time MBA candidates come to the stage, I want to reintroduce uh, Pat Godfroy, who will be joining us, the Associate Dean for Marketing Communications. Also joining us now is the Associate Dean for the full-time program, Gary Frazier. And also Professor Hal Hirschfield will greet our newest MBA alumni, assisted by Andrea Wade and Zubin Davar. Malachi Nelson. Howard Liu. Michelle Lee. Jenna Lee Custodio. Judy Wong. Matt Shintaku. Ryan Bowie. Justin Chang. Peter Yuan. Yashvant Ben Kat and Christian. Bowen Wang. Gabrielle Cornelio. Anjali Srivastava. Andrew Lee. Trisha Sinha. Chris Kuchera. Min Yong. Rodolfo Maya Granados. Jonathan Leiter. William Heinz. Jonathan Lopez. Henry McMillan. Cody Shields. Sumil Mascar. Ben Heverly. Alexander Battisti. That's good. Victor Tran. Joe Sassi. 
RJ Grant. Charles Hartwood. Kit Rosenfeld. Samantha Lynn. Stephen Shin. Ariane Nash. Christopher Potter. Albert Chu. James Sugden. Samuel Song. Sohini so Sohini Hatheramadni. Evan Boyd. Ransom Kochar. Christina Sai. Katia from Nalashvili. April Lonchar. Emily Hoffman. Smitha Pantibonda. Kyle Montolta. Rohit Kolar. Katie Reggio. George Sandler. Catherine Dorian. Aslina Hamid. Woo! Sophia Jimenez. Ugana Oswana. Haya Sayed. Ryan Potter. Leah Sanfilippo. Kathleen Lee. Ariel Fisher. Mine Din. Becca Cohen. Anita Fong. Morgan Muhonen. Rainy Sro. Amalia Market. Spencer Sultan. Blaze Badway. Aveline Pan. Stephen Mendoza. Hema Chalaman La Seti. Luis Eduardo Sandra Frendale. Gabriella Pessi Alicia. Daniela Riskina. Elad Tapirio. Caroline Ingalls Lamb. Aratrika Vera. Caroline Berry. Defend. Grossi. Eli Wilson. Basundra Paul. Elizabeth Judy. Nikith Kumar. Rich Phillip. <laughs> Tony Aniagwa. Sarah Jaberi. Jackie Filer Hart. Nicole Jabrell. Elizabeth Williams. Aliyah Carlo. <laughs> Megan McDonald. 
Yang Shim. Ashley Klotz. Danny Jones. Abigail Salcom. Moses Baita. Shauna Jacobson. Audrey Devon. Alex Wolfson. Haley Walbobstein. Kushal Chatterjee. Lauren Cash. Abinan Sukimar. Lauren Browning. Paresh Suvani. Alexandra Marmou and you. Akash Apadiai. Dean Toms. Go Dean! Jojo Fallis. Reed Tudor. Samuel Fine. Danielle Truitt. Arjun Modi. Lindsay Godell. Matthew Leish. Elena Titzler. Nandifa Shankor. Zachary Starko. Pooja Pachemia. PJ Mallory. Marco Nielsen. Jay Lee. Yanan Collins. Taylor Truen. Chango Walia. Rohan Kumar. Emily Mann. Akshay Prakash. Kleena Lachlan. Hind Gill. Amara Barakat. Priyank Gupta. Ajitash Singh. Aisha Hawk. Akshita Saxena. Joyce Ng. Jensen Chako. Aleli Kaluza. Atulia Jane. Anandi Jane. Aisha Han. Christopher Jacob. Nikhil Agarwal. Sarab Agarwal. Gabriel Lopez. Shivatsa Dedatura. Jonathan Freeman. Bose Zhu. Kevin White. Freddie Brindopke. Justin Jones. Mariana Hernandez Di Vincenzo. Rondale Davis. Gabrielle Amoko. Marcella Joyner. Lillian Fan. Lorna Apia. 
Ann Cow. Betsy Linares. Nancy Lee. Daniela Mayock. Rebecca Kim. Jasmine Gibson. Julia Schweitzer. Philip Williams. Erica Wiseman. Isabella Mangalo. Deborah Dzieloshinsky. Robert Araho. Aaron Meltzer. Yitzhak Sandoval. Victoria Simonovice. Victor Rodriguez. Marco Johnson. Kendall Brown. Martin Kite. Michael Morgan. Jonathan Sedeo. Andres Gio Lincoln. Tanmay Sharma. Mickey Ingerman. Will Yang. Jordan Ferguson. Emily Fan. Stanton Field. Ryan Dubow. Jonathan Hung. Joaquin Cassell. Jennifer Sal. Jake Shapiro. Vivian Chung. Brad Shearhorn. Alex Carrion. Nicholas Fong. Fanny Pinul. Jenny Mulyawan. Nicole Nguyen. Stephanie Chu. Sarah Heisler. Moritz Mayer. Naomi Burns. <laughs> Yushin Zhang. Nikki Chio Suyang. Nyamji <laughs> Hong. Lady Abood. Jump. Alexander Sarah Legley. Claire Hugh. Joseph Benoit. Eric Tian. Joshua Smiley. Gus Avarello. Simon Simaku. Wade Avery. Lee. 
Akebono Nakamura. Rapas Boom, Chamnan Rata Nakul. Hank Lee. Chodisa Chawana Rodri. Jay Wang. Michelle Yuji Wei. Wu Bang Zhang. Blair Le Cheng. Zane ZJ Yang. Arena Inui. Yuchan Ye. Andrea Maciel. Sharon Seiyu Yao. Michael J. Cowan. Ariana Edwards. Natalia Dranchuk. Candice Todd. Michael Raymond. Slavomir Vanek. Blake Scott. Juan Ignacio Castro. Kevin Kuhn. Evan Greer. Michael Koenig. Calvin Campbell. Steve Massline. Zachary Marcotte. Sam Wilbur. Bennett Sargensky. <laughs> Jose Hernandez. Nicholas Proto. Ryan Barman. Colin Rapson. Alexander Wilson. Yes. Sheer Amit. <laughs> Charles yeah. Novak. Yeah. Adolfo Orsi. Rashi Jindani. Yeah. Brandon Lee. Michael Kirchner. Andrew Hemingway. <laughs> Jonathan Ainley. G Work Davamasian. Layla Cara. Joaquim Fells. Rafael Arendt. Dick Vijay Singh. Dima Glenex. Asim Karana. See Rush to Roker. Maximilian Sturm. Shivan, Shivam Malhorta. Beko Petrozzi. Gary Zucker. Manuel Lopez. Stephanie Benjamin. Pablo Tayedo. Emily Yang. Lauren Berliner. Jaime Arena. 
Chrissy Gaglione. Hamilton P. Connors. Alexander Corbett. Fernando Arossari. Scott McFadden. Joaquin Truco. Yurush Chudahara. Lyle Seabeck. Camila Contreras. Hendra Shaw. Brianna Krechi. Nebuaki Halata. <laughs> Claire Pope. Dubam Yim. Hannah Juke. Alexander Lee. Minji Kim. Rio Oya. Viraj Juluri. Haiwuk Chung. Amanda Rabago. Manuel Moreira. Puja Patel. Olivia Ben David. Sky Vanderwoody. Emma Kuslitz. Joey Padgett. Caroline Van Allen. Matthias Telmo. Coel Clark. Okay, Valerio Pedri. Scott Cohen. Victoria Everline. Andy Jones. And it's Catherine Seiler. Andrea Torreon. Shelby Sibelnich. Jose Silva. <laughs> Amy Chen Yu Wu. Arnold Huang. Victor Whitman. Thank you, everyone, and congratulations to the MBA class of 2023. Now, our final speaker will be welcoming you, all of you officially as part of the UCLA Anderson alumni family for life. Zubin Davar, MBA class of 2015, is president of the UCLA Anderson alumni board of directors. Zubin is VP of Strategy and Business Development at Confirm.com. We're all very grateful to Zubin for his leadership and dedication as an alumna for life. Zubin. All right, thank you, Sanjay Sood. Class of 23, how are we doing? What an impressive group. Now, I know I'm the last speaker between you and some very well-deserved celebratory drinks, so I will keep it brief. 
You made it. Welcome to the finish line. I finally remember my own graduation, so it's a true privilege to be a part of yours. From those nerve-wracking applications to the grueling GMAT, and during all of those case studies, surviving interviews, sleepless nights, and finals, my friends, you have arrived. And congratulations are definitely in order. But I have some news for you. Your adventure with Anderson is just beginning. You're about to become Anderson alumni, a designation that comes with more than just a fancy title. It comes with a distinguished community of remarkable individuals. And it's with deep humility I stand in front of you today as president of our incredible alumni network, one that I promise will propel you in your passions and professional endeavors. So, on behalf of the UCLA Anderson Alumni Board of Directors, I'm honored to officially welcome you to the UCLA Anderson Alumni Network. You're joining a family of over 42,000 brothers and sisters across 100 countries in virtually every industry imaginable. It wields groundbreaking entrepreneurs to CEOs of generation-defining companies from YouTube, BlackRock, and AEG, just to name a few. You are now part of this esteemed kinship. And when family calls, we show up. We show up when you're looking for your next job. We show up when you're looking for the right boards to serve on. And we also show up when you're starting businesses, need investors, or just need some advice. Now, the prospect of doing something amazing in your life should always trump the fear of failure. Be bold knowing that you have the unwavering support of the alumni network. Dream big, take risks, and unleash your full potential. And as you soar to those great heights, make sure you bring others along. Because you see, you have earned the right to call yourself UCLA Anderson alumni. But with that distinction comes responsibility. You are now in a position to reach back and bring others to where you have arrived. Our network thrives because engagement is the expectation. We support and we hold each other accountable. You will be called on to mentor, to lend a helping hand, and to share your wisdom with the next generation. My ask is that you answer those calls because when we were students, those calls made a difference to us. It's now our time as Bruin alumni to pay it forward. And let me tell you, engaging with this incredible network will serve you beyond your wildest dreams. I found it's those who open themselves up, offer encouragement without expectation, support without strings, that reap the greatest benefits. And speaking of such service, your class presidents will keep you in the loop on how to get involved. So from your class, please stand and be recognized. Freddie Brindaki. <laughs> Kyle Brower. And Deidre Willis. They are your conduit to the board of directors and will keep you updated on all things Anderson. Freddie, Kyle, and Deidre, we are so delighted to welcome you to Anderson's alumni leadership circle. Class of 2023, you bring a unique perspective and we need it now more than ever. Your resilience has been forged in the fire of this turbulent global moment. The world is no longer what it is or what it was and how we grapple with our great challenges from climate change the future of work, civil and income inequality, housing affordability, and so much more, they are now yours to tackle. Combined with your Anderson education, your fortitude and resourcefulness will enable you to solve them. But just know that Anderson will be right there beside you, cheering you on every step of the way. So in closing, let me remind you that putting on a cap and gown isn't what transforms you into an Anderson alum. It's now how you think more fearlessly drive change, and share success that does. These are the true hallmarks of UCLA alumni, which you are all now for life. You're an extraordinary group of individuals, and I couldn't be prouder to call you my fellow alumni. We're eager to witness your journeys as you find your place amongst our alumni ranks. But for now, soak in this moment and celebrate like there's no tomorrow, because my dear Bruins, you have certainly earned it. Congratulations, everyone. Go Bruins! Thank you so much, Zubin.
And now for one last official act. This is uh, the fun part. I ask all degree candidates to pre please rise. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Regents of the University of California, I confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Management, Management of Business Administration. Congratulations, Class of 2023. So we're all so proud of you. But for now, please remain in your seats until the recessional is passed. We invite you all to join us at the back to intramural, intramural field just behind us to toast you and congratulate our new graduates. Before I lead the recessional out to the reception area, I want to point out one more very important detail. Our graduates will be led to a separate entrance to the reception. Now I know that you want to follow them right behind them. But there's another entrance just for guests immediately behind us at the gates to the Wallace Annenberg Field. From there, you will be led to the reception. Thank you, everyone. Congratulations.
to go.